If you're like most marketers, you're paying $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus, but you're not even scratching the surface of how it can help you with your SEO and digital marketing. You're not enriching it with your own data or combining it with data from other tools, leaving you with substandard or completely incorrect outputs. So in this video, I'm gonna show you seven deeply practical and valuable ways you can use ChatGPT to supercharge your SEO workflow, as well as some things you should never use ChatGPT for. My name is Matt and I work as a freelance growth partner helping businesses get more traffic, leads, and sales from organic search. These are the ChatGPT techniques that I've personally used to deliver SEO value two to three times faster and significantly grow my business as a solopreneur. All of the prompts mentioned in this video can be found in the description of this video. So let's get right to it. Number one, using ChatGPT to brainstorm ICPs. Now, AI has changed search patterns dramatically. The future of organic search is customers asking hyper-specific questions and getting conversational answers aided by artificial intelligence. It's never been more important to have a rock-solid understanding of your ideal customer profile, aka your ICP, so you can answer these questions. ChatGPT can help you dig deeper into your ICP by analyzing your public-facing website data and generating detailed customer avatars that guide your SEO decisions. Start by pasting the ICP prompt into ChatGPT, making sure to replace the placeholder text with your own website. As a reminder, you can check the description of this video for this prompt and all others. ChatGPT will scrape your site to understand your business, what problems you solve, and the types of buyers that you're most likely targeting. For each ICP, it'll create a fictional name, background, motivations, pain points, and example search behavior patterns. It'll even list out some content ideas that speak directly to their search behaviors. Even if you're very close to your business and think you know everything there is to know about your target buyers, you'd be surprised what kind of hidden insights this exercise can surface. Now you can build out the rest of your strategy with a clear picture of your target customer. Number two, technical SEO analysis. Technical SEO audits used to require expensive tools or hours of manual checking, not to mention the fact that they were very, well, you know, technical. Now you can get a comprehensive, easy to understand audit in minutes using ChatGPT and free tools. Most technical SEO issues are hiding in plain sight, but they're scattered across hundreds of pages. You need something that can process large amounts of data quickly and identify patterns. First, start with a screaming frog crawl. Download Screaming Frog SEO Spider. It's free for up to 500 URLs, which covers most small to medium websites. Enter your domain and let it crawl your entire site. Once the crawl is complete, you can click this button to export the data as internal underscore all dot CSV. This file contains everything ChatGPT needs to analyze your site's technical health. Open up ChatGPT and paste the technical SEO audit prompt along with your internal underscore all CSV file. ChatGPT will process hundreds of URLs instantly and identify issues that would take you hours to find manually. This output is awesome. A breakdown of every technical issue on your site ordered by priority from critical to low impact. Each issue includes why it's a problem, how to fix it, and all the affected URLs. Fixing these will remove any obstacles you're putting in the way of Google and help you win more organic traffic. Number three, keyword ideation, not keyword research. ChatGPT is great for coming up with keyword ideas, but really bad for keyword research. It has no reliable data about search volumes or competition and will more than likely just hallucinate those numbers to make you happy. Never trust ChatGPT for actual keyword metrics, but for ideation, it's the best. ChatGPT understands language patterns really well and can generate the types of questions your customers will actually ask. The key is to use ChatGPT to generate keyword ideas and then validate them in Surfer's keyword research tool or another keyword research tool of your choice. Start by pasting the keyword ideation prompt into ChatGPT with your website URL. It will scrape your site to understand your business and target audience, then generate not only traditional keywords, but AI-friendly conversational queries that approximate what your target customers might ask. 
Targeting these kinds of terms is also hugely beneficial for ranking in AI search. Google gives you a treasure trove of data about how people find you in Google search and what they search for in a tool called Google Search Console, which is completely free to connect to your website. We'll use that to spot missing content topics and growth opportunities. Once it's hooked up to your site, go to Google Search Console, click six months, then click export. Grab the queries.csv file and drop it into the ChatGPT window along with the Google Search Console keyword ideation prompt. Since you're giving the model queries that already bring people to your site, the suggestions will be highly relevant to your audience. Number four, topical gap analysis. Topical authority signals to search engines that your website is a comprehensive, trustworthy source on specific subjects, which leads to higher rankings across all related keywords in that topic area. Several studies have also proven that AI tools prioritize authoritative sources when answering questions, making sites with strong topical authority more likely to be cited in AI-generated responses. As AI search grows, comprehensive topic coverage becomes a competitive advantage in both traditional and AI search because algorithms can quickly identify the most credible source for any given subject. Your Google Search Console data is an absolute goldmine for understanding your topical authority gaps, and since we've already uploaded it in the previous step, we can continue to query it with the topical gap analysis prompt to find those gaps. This prompt will look at what you're already ranking for and surface topics or keywords that could complement your existing content and help you achieve that coveted topical authority. While ChatGPT can identify the gaps, it can't tell you which ones are worth pursuing based on real concrete data. This is where Surfer's topical map is a better solution. While the ChatGPT approach gives you ideas, Surfer's topical map gives you a complete data-driven topical authority strategy. Surfer pulls real keyword volume data, shows you exactly which topics to prioritize based on search demand, and visualizes topic clusters so you can see the relationships between different content pieces. Most importantly, topics open directly in Surfer's content editor. So you can go from gap identification all the way to optimized completed content in one seamless workflow. Number five, deep research. Great content comes from doing great research. And I'm not talking about skimming the first page of Google results. I'm talking about diving deep into user forums, YouTube videos, Reddit threads, LinkedIn discussions, and industry-specific communities to get those raw, unfiltered insights that your competitors are missing. This is where ChatGPT's deep research feature becomes absolutely game-changing. It's essentially a research assistant that can simultaneously scour dozens of sources, synthesize that information, and present it back to you in a digestible format. To follow along, you'll need ChatGPT Plus or Pro. The deep research feature isn't available on the free tier, but trust me, it's worth every penny for this use case alone. Start by feeding ChatGPT the deep research prompt. Replace the placeholder text with your specific topic, target keywords, and any particular angles you want to explore. Once you submit the prompt, ChatGPT will ask you follow-up questions to refine the research scope. This is critical. Answer these thoughtfully because they'll determine the quality and relevance of your research output. Now, I'm rarely blown away by AI anymore, but ChatGPT's deep research never fails to impress me. It returns a comprehensive search intent and SERP analysis, all the keyword topics to cover, unique angles and perspectives, target keyword ideas, and even a suggested blog outline. But here's where the real magic happens. And this is the workflow that's completely transformed how I create content. We're gonna combine the power of ChatGPT's deep research with Surfer's cutting edge content optimization tools. Seriously, folks, I'm giving away all the sauce here. Here's how it works. I'm gonna use that research report as the foundation for my content outline. Now, personally, I found that ChatGPT isn't as strong at creating content outlines, so I like to do this part myself. Strong content always begins with a strong outline. So once that's done, I'll start writing using ChatGPT or Claude to help me beat writer's block whenever I feel stuck. When I'm happy with the first draft, I'll bring that into Surfer's content editor. When you drop your ChatGPT research draft into Surfer, you get access to all those deeper SEO signals that ChatGPT isn't as reliable at finding. Surfer analyzes the actual ranking pages and shows you exactly which semantic keywords you're missing, what topics you need to cover more thoroughly, 
thoroughly and how to structure your content for maximum ranking potential. The interface makes it incredibly easy to see your optimization gaps at a glance. You'll see missing keywords highlighted, get suggestions for related terms to include, and most satisfying of all, you can watch your content score climb in real time as you make optimizations. And don't even say that that's not the best part because we all know that's the best part. This two-step process is honestly game-changing. You start with the content that's genuinely valuable and insight-driven, then layer on the on-page optimization with Surfer that actually gets it found. Most content creators do one or the other. They either create great content that nobody finds or boring, flat, search-optimized content that nobody wants to read. This workflow gives you both. One pro tip, save your deep research outputs. They're absolute gold mines for future content ideas, and you can often extract multiple pieces of content from a single comprehensive research session. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, why not just use ChatGPT for producing the content itself? You've done all this research, you have all your insights, why not just ask ChatGPT to write the entire article? Well, this is actually the second thing we don't recommend using ChatGPT for, and there's some very specific reasons why. First, it's the one-shot problem. Most people approach ChatGPT content creation by asking it to write an entire blog post in one go, what we call one-shotting. Here's what typically happens. You give ChatGPT a topic and ask for a 2,000 word blog post. What you get back feels generic. Sometimes it contains insights from your research, but sometimes ChatGPT just omits stuff randomly. And it often reads like it was written by, well, an AI. If you're intent on using ChatGPT for content creation, we recommend going section by section instead. Write your outline based on your deep research, then ask ChatGPT to help you develop each section individually. This gives you more control over the output and helps maintain consistency with your research insights. But even with this approach, ChatGPT has some significant limitations that can derail your content. ChatGPT can still cite statistics that don't exist or reference studies that were never conducted. This is especially dangerous in B2B content where accuracy is crucial for credibility. It can also just wildly drift off topic. Ask for 500 words on a specific subtopic and ChatGPT might give you 300 words on that topic and 200 words on something tangentially related. It's not great at staying laser focused on narrow topics. Perhaps most importantly, ChatGPT output often lacks personality and unique perspective. It tends to hedge statements, use corporate speak, and avoid taking strong positions, all things that make content forgettable. If speed is of the essence and you'd like to try one-shot content creation, we'd recommend giving Surfer's AI content writer a try instead. Here's why it's superior for SEO content. Unlike ChatGPT, Surfer's AI content writer is specifically trained for SEO content creation. Just enter some preliminary information about your topic and target keywords, and Surfer will generate both an outline and first draft that's pre-optimized with all the semantic keywords you need to rank. The key difference is that Surfer's AI is pulling from the same SERP analysis data that powers the content editor. So your first draft is strategically optimized based on what's actually ranking for your target keywords. Now, regardless of which tool you use for your first draft, the real work begins in the editing phase. Your job is to transform that draft into something genuinely valuable by adding compelling verified statistics from authoritative sources, expert quotes and insights that provide unique perspectives, your own voice and opinions that differentiate your content, real examples and case studies that illustrate your points, and actionable takeaways that readers can immediately implement. Think of AI-generated content as a starting point, not a finished product. The content that ranks and converts is the content that provides genuine value that can't be found anywhere else. That human touch, your expertise, your perspective, your unique insights is what transforms generic AI content into something worth reading and sharing. Now, for those of you who are deeply entrenched in the AI world, you know I've been leaving something very big out of this video so far, and that's Model Context Protocol, or MCP servers. Model Context Protocol is essentially a language that AI tools can use to communicate with and bring in data from external tools. Remember back earlier in this video when I said you should never rely on ChatGPT for keyword research because it can't pull in accurate keyword data? 
Well, MCP servers actually solve that issue and many others like it. For example, I can hook up Claude, a similar AI tool to ChatGPT, into Data for SEO's MCP server and say, give me the search volume for best project management tools and 20 other semantically related keywords, and immediately get reliable metrics delivered straight back to the chat window. And this is just the beginning. Dozens of organizations have jumped on the bandwagon and started developing their own MCP server. You can essentially have one AI interface that connects to your entire marketing tech stack and intelligently understands what tool to use for any given use case. And yes, an MCP server is on the roadmap here at Surfer, and we're really excited to tell you more about that. Just know that it's in the works and you're soon gonna be able to connect your Surfer data straight from your AI tool of choice. But that is a big topic for another video, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell on the Surfer Academy channel so you don't miss it. Number six, building micro tools for SEO. Chances are you've seen micro tools around the web. You've probably even used them. They're small browser-based pieces of software like calculators, generators, or analyzers that are completely free to use, ungated, and accomplish one very specific but useful task for your ideal customer. These tools are relatively easy to build compared to other software and absolutely incredible for SEO. They solve real problems, they get shared naturally, and they earn backlinks like crazy. Plus, they target extremely high intent keywords like meta tag analyzer or invoice generator. Consider this free invoice generator that's earned nearly 4,000 backlinks and regularly gets over 480,000 organic clicks per month or this free salary paycheck calculator on ADP's website that's earned 4,000 backlinks and gets 635,000 organic clicks per month. That's just to this page. There are successful micro tools in almost every industry, and they all follow the same formula. Solve one small, very specific problem really, really well. Before, if you wanted to create tools like this, you'd need to hire a developer to scope and plan and build them. For non-technical marketers, this was a massive barrier to entry. You're talking thousands of dollars and weeks of development time for even the simplest tools. But thanks to what's called vibe coding, I'm sure you've heard of that, you can now speak to tools like ChatGPT, Claude, Cursor, or Gemini in plain English, and they'll interpret your instructions into real working code. I actually made an entire video on my own channel about a year ago showing how I used Cursor to create an XML sitemap parser, a super handy SEO tool. I built and deployed this tool in an hour without writing a single line of code, just by speaking to the AI and describing what I wanted the tool to do. In the world of AI coding and vibe coding and the intelligence of these large language models has grown by leaps and bounds in the last year, so it's never been easier to build your own micro tools even as a non-technical marketer. If you're interested in diving deeper into this strategy, I highly recommend checking out that video I mentioned. You'll find the link in the description. It walks through my entire process step-by-step step and shows you exactly how to go from idea to deployed tool using nothing but AI and plain English instructions. Number seven, reverse engineering AI source placement. This is kind of a clever one that tips ChatGPT's hand a bit to show you how it thinks under the hood and how you can reverse engineer that to rank in AI search. Here's how it works. I imagine myself speaking to ChatGPT from the perspective of a target buyer. In this example, I searched, what are the best no-code tools for building mobile apps? I made sure to select the O3 model in ChatGPT. This is important because the O3 model shows its reasoning process. After it did its work, I clicked on the thinking button to see the thought process that ChatGPT moved through to present these answers. I can see here that there's a Reddit post it referenced, specific tools it prioritized, and the reasoning behind why it chose certain sources over others. This gives you incredible insight into how AI tools evaluate and rank content when answering questions. By analyzing this thought process, you can reverse engineer what types of content, what sources, and what formatting AI tools prefer when generating responses. Then you can pattern your content similarly to help rank in AI search results. But if you want a tool that brings structure and accuracy to all this brainstorming, I highly recommend checking out Surfer. It turns your ChatGPT ideas into data-backed, optimized content 
ready to rank and drive results. Speaking of ranking and AI search results, we recently made a video on that very topic, which you should definitely check out next. Happy prompting and happy ranking.